Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Lenas. You are now watching More Than 20 Days to Jam, a series containing more than 20 episodes which covers all the topics in Jam syllabus. Each episode comprises detailed class, questions, and homework. The questions and homework are from the Flash Lenas Jam application. This makes the app a requirement for this class. Visit Google Play Store or flashlearners.com to get the app. Do you have trust issues? Reach me on any of my social handles for activation guide or inquiries. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. This is episode number 37 of the 120 Days to Jam Days of English with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be answering comprehension passage from 2019 Model 1 of the Flash Learners Jam application. This series will focus on many comprehension passages. We shall answer a lot of comprehension passages. And we've already answered up to three or four passages. Now, the aim is not to tell you the answers or for you to get the answer. No, the aim is for you to learn how to answer any comprehension passage you come across not just answer to be sure of your answer because we study the questions we study the passage and we pick out where the answers are in the passage to justify our answer with that you are good to go this is the way the class we go i will display the questions on the screen but for the passage i won't as i'm reading the passage you'll be able to pick them to get the best experience after the class or during the class, you can open your Flash Learners Jam application. Click on Practice for UTME. Go to Use of English. Under Use of English, choose 2019 Model 1. Topic, choose Comprehension. Yes, because there are different topics in English. So choose Topic, Comprehension, and you will see the passage. Under Exam Mode, if you choose Study Mode, under the screen, you see small i. Anytime you click on the i, it will give you the correct answer and the explanation. This applies to every other subject. Every comprehension passage has the main idea and the supporting ideas or supporting sentences. If you are given a passage, the first paragraph or the first three st uh, sentences will tell you the complete idea of the passage. Every other thing you see in the passage they are examples to support the main idea. The first option says, the good and the bad side of media. Option B, the mass media and the people. Option C, the purpose of mass media. And option D, mass communication. So, what is the passage trying to tell us? And the next question here, the myths of mass media can be summarized into dash. It means the passage gave us the myths of mass media. Option A says it can be summarized into print, electronic, and advertisement. Option B, print and electronic. Option C, newspaper, books, and journals. Option D, radio, television, and newspaper. We shall see that soon. And the next one says, one of the following is not true in the passage. It means that out of the four options, one of them is not true. A. Mass communication don't stop. Do they talk according to the passage? B. Mass communication don't personalize discourse. C. Mass media determine what the public gets to know d all of the above one major source of worry in vast mass media is from dash political rallies advertisement broadcasting and newscasting which of the following is one major source of worry about the mass media and the last question all the following are roles of the mass media, but the passage gave us the roles of mass media except 
one. Sensitization, information, entertainment, and moralization. Which of the following are the roles of mass media? From the questions, it actually shows that we are expected to learn a lot or to pick out a lot from the passage. Read the passage carefully and answer the questions that follow. The term mass communication occurs when information is disseminated to a relatively large number of people in different places. Now, like I told you, the first sentence, the first two of the first three, tells you everything the passage is about. Now, from the first sentence, we've already gotten the whole idea of the passage. Mass media and the people. Very simple. The theme, mass communication, or, or rather, mass communication, which is the same, and the people. Of course, when information is disseminated to a relatively large number of people in different places. Dissemination of information to people is the idea of the passage. It should be seen as the same thing with talking face to face with someone else. Now, it says that the mass communication should be seen as talking face to face with someone else. With mass communication, there is no answer, smile, laugh, or look of surprise. There is no answer, no smile, no laugh, or look of surprise. The people who receive the message are as far away from the source of the message, as far away as you are from the announcers on the radio, or from the newscaster on television, or from the writer of the column in local newspaper. That speaks of the distance of broadcast, the distance between people broadcasting and those receiving. For example, I am here teaching you, I don't know where you are, which means you can be far away from where I am taking this class, but the information is certainly going to reach you. There are three identifiable means of errors in mass communication. So in mass communication, there are three errors. In mass communication, there is one done through the printed words, books, magazine, and newspaper. There are three identifiable means of errors in mass form. The one through print, books, like printed word books, magazine, and news paper. Now the other is primarily radio, but also records and tape recordings. Another means of error is radio. Also, it can be done through a communication of sound and pictures in television, TV, and films, and more popularly, video tape video tape. Together, they are referred to as the mass media, which means the print, book, magazine, and newspaper, the radio, the TV, film, and video tape, these are they referred to as mass media. And there are three errors in the mass communication. Remember, we've been able to answer up to two questions now, or we've been able to get answers to two questions on the passage. All media can be used to inform and entertain. All visual uh, media can be used to inform and they can use to entertain. However, there are covers roles play. It may be to educate as in school broadcast. Again, the aim may be to persuade as when the media are used by advertisers or for political broadcast. They can use to persuade and they can be used as adverts for political broadcast. The media are often in strong position to influence the public opinion because they select the topic to be presented and can stress the importance of one over the other, which means they are biased. They can select the topic they want to, uh, to select. They can emphasize on the one. If they want a particular person to be good, they keep saying good about the person. If they want the other person to be bad, 
they leave the good things, the person to be the focus on the bad one. The mass media have in recent times come under ascetic criticism. Many presenters have not be, have not only become conscientized but also immensely concerned about the possible effect that signs of violence and bad behavior may have on their children. More worrisome are the potential danger of political and commercial propaganda. Wow, that is a lot. From the passage, we can see that the mass, the a suitable title for the above is mass media and the people, its effect on the people, making option B the correct option. And this is the myth of mass media can be summarized into dash book, magazine, newspaper, and this. All these are regarded as print. Then radio, TV, films, and tape. These are electronic means. Let's see the option. Option A, print, electronic, and advertisement. No, advert can be in print, radio, and film. So we can't take advert as a particular brand of mass media. Option B, print and electronic. Book, magazine, and newspaper, they are printed copies. Radio, TV, film, and tape, they are electronic copies. They make sense, but let's see the other options. C. Newspaper, books, and journals. Newspaper, books, and journals, everything here are classified as print. So what then happens to this other part mentioned? Option C is not sufficient. Option D. Radio, television, and newspaper. Radio, television, and newspaper. If you say radio and you say television, what happens to the videotape and what happens to film? It simply means that you are picking only these two. To get the best category, everything here are printed copy and everything here are electronic copy. So that makes option B the wide answer to the question. And next, one of the following is not true in the passage. Mass media, they don't personalize this course. Mass media, Determine what the public gets to know. Yes, they don't personalize this course and they determine what the topic gets to know. Which of the following is not true? Mass communication don't talk. It's not true. They talk. One major source of worry about mass media is from Dash. It's from broadcasting. Why is it from broadcasting? Because they say they are to inform and entertain us. But some persons, they can personalize one person. They choose to promote who they want to promote. And choose to bring down who they need to bring down. So they select what they broadcast, they select who to promote, and they select who to bring up in campaign and the rest. So that makes option C the most appropriate. More worrisome are the potential danger of political and commercial propaganda, which means the political part and the rest, they can actually bring out propaganda to influence people. They manipulate the media so that they broadcast what they are not supposed to broadcast. Now, they can do that through political rallies, through advertisements and newscasting. All these, they are, all these come together to form what to refer to as broadcasting, since none of them can stand as one. It may not necessarily be in form of advert or rally, but broadcasting covers every other way of bringing out information. That makes option C the correct option. And all the following are rules of the media, except Dash. They are to inform, we wrote it as, they are to entertain and to sensitize. They are not to moral, they don't teach you moral. Moralization, according to the passage, is not a rule of the media. It wasn't even mentioned at all. So option D is the correct option. What have we succeeded in doing? Succeeded in analyzing, digesting, and dissecting a passage to get the correct answers and to verify the answer in the passages. And like I said, I did not read the passage before coming to teach, which means you can see a random passage and answer questions correctly. So that is it. Open your Flash Jam app, 2009 model one, exam mode, you can choose any method. The topic, go to comprehension. You see the passage for yourself. Read it and point out the things I'm able to analyze. It is really, really going to help you. Trust me. See you in the next episode.